Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm one of the designers at Lamont Brothers. Recently, my team and I had the opportunity to work with a family in Southeast Portland to remodel their basement. Let me show you what we've done. Come on over. Over here, we've refinished their stairs with new oak treads and risers that are painted. We have a lovely new handrail that's white oak as well for safety. And then over here, we have this fun removable baluster panel. The reason we created this was, as you'll see, we have kind of a narrow space in this basement and the homeowners were concerned about being able to get furniture in and out of this room once this was finished. So we decided to make this removable with a few bolts that are up here and down at the bottom so that they can simply remove this panel, set it off to the side anytime that they need to move large or small items out of the basement. Over on this wall, we opted not to fur this wall out and insulate it because as you can see, the staircase here is very narrow. Had we furred this out, we would have had to redesign the entire staircase and possibly relocate it. That did not fit into our budget. We were able to work with our fur inspector and devise a plan to grandfather in the stairs while leaving this foundation wall exposed and just doing a nice skim coat. We did a seismic retrofit that you can see some of the exposed brackets on this wall and then just finished off the top to disguise where the concrete ends with some nice trim. Over here, we have our powder and laundry room. Before we step inside, we have this fun little detail around the casing here. The clients wanted to mimic some of the details in the home upstairs. And while the casings were much larger upstairs, their simple detail allowed us to recreate them in a much smaller fashion so that they would fit within the basement space. All right, let's go check out the powder room. So on this side, you can see we kept the laundry. We've got a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. Above that, we've got a nice oak shelf as well as some matching oak cabinetry to store laundry detergents and other items. On this side of the room, we've kept the bathroom area fairly small and compact. To achieve that, we've used a wall-mounted toilet as well as a wall-mounted sink with towel bar built into it. This all keeps this room nice and open feeling, even though it has a lot of functionality packed into it. Let's go take a look at the family room. So out here, we wanted to have a nice cozy space for movie nights and family time. So we've got their TV mounted on the wall. We've added some blocking behind the wall, as well as some AV cable management so that that's nice and clutter free and secure. We've installed carpet throughout the basement for the kids so that there's a nice cozy soft surface for them to play on. And we also replaced all the windows throughout the basement with Pella Impervia fiberglass windows. This window in particular was a sliding window and did not meet egress. So we did need to change the functionality of this opening. So we've gone with a casement window with a fixed window next to it. In addition to the windows, we also wanted to keep the door to the powder room frosted so that we could maintain any of the light that comes through and then finally, down at this end of the home, we have the homeowner's work from home area, as well as some space for fitness equipment. Basements often present their own challenges. This one was no different. Over on this side of the room, we have a wall that's bumped out simply because of an existing plumbing stack. We were able to work with our plumbing trades to tighten it up a bit, but that is where it comes and it was in line with this window. We chose to maintain the window in the main area as opposed to the mechanical room because that was a priority for the homeowners. So we created this little nook over here. There was also a great unintended consequence of this little nook. It creates a great little corner for the Peloton. Throughout the ceiling, we had some various ducts that were passing below the floor joists. Wanting to keep the ceiling clean and unobstructed, we were able to work with our HVAC technicians to reroute some of the ducting so that all of that was hidden within the mechanical room or in between floor joists above us so that we could maintain a smooth ceiling out in our family room. This was such a great project to work on. I'm glad that this family has such a warm, inviting space to come spend time with each other in. If you'd like to check out other basement remodels, please click the link up here to see one of our recent Northeast Portland remodels. As always, continue to inform yourself and make sure to subscribe to see more content of our finished spaces.